Importing assets in Snap IT. In this video, we are going to look at what are the different ways and what are the pros and cons using these different ways to import assets in Snap IT. Okay. Apart from that, also we will look at Snap IT's official website. What do they recommend when we actually import assets? Hello everyone, this is Jay Singh. Welcome to my channel, Technex Solutions. And also, I'm going to add this video into the playlist of Snipe IT installation on Windows Server. If you have not checked out the previous videos, I would highly recommend you to go through those ones. Uh, I have left the link in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to look at is a Snipe IT official website and we will check the documentation. What do they recommend? So you can go to snipeitapp.com and once you're on the website you will click on the documentation here and uh, once you click on the documentation it will open a new page and in the new page we will click on importing assets and more okay so the first thing that we are going to look at is um, how we can actually import assets so there are two ways so the first one is web gui so we can use a web interface to import assets okay and then it is very simple way to import assets with web um, interface and that's the first thing that we are going to look in this video and then after that we are going to look at the command line tool okay we can use command line tool um, and the, the question that you would ask is why we have to use command line tool when there's a web interface fairly easy to use and uh, here they actually saying that the importer may choke on larger imports so if you're importing like small files, that is fine. However, when you will try to import something big, which will have several hundred records, it will show. It won't import, it will freeze. Okay, other thing I would like to point out that CSV file, it has to be comma delimited. Okay, that CSV file has to be comma delimited CSV file. And usage, uh, if you want to use a command line, so this is a shell. That's a command line you can use and you have to run it from the root directory of Snipe IT. Okay. And further, they have mentioned optional arguments and these are the optional arguments. We will discuss about what to use when we will import assets. Okay. And CSV format. So the importer reads the first row of the CSV file to determine what it has in it. For example, if we look at this CSV file here, so this is the first row. So in this first row, you can see the company, model name. So that first row actually determines what actually it has in the whole column. For example, company, it tells what companies are, okay? And in the similar fashion, serial number here. So it tells what are the different serial numbers available. All right. Um, here you have some sample CSV downloads, which you can have a look at as well. However, I will provide all the files which I'm going to use in this video. And these files will be available on my blog. And I will leave the link for you in the description of my blog. And common fields, you can have a look at the common fields and um, required or not so it will tell you yes or no for example yes category is something which is required so um, you have to enter a category asset only fields so these are the fields which you have to use when you import assets so you can see that full name email username is available here but in my um, samples i'm not using full name email username there is a reason why I don't use that when I import assets because if you use full name, email and username, so any asset you will import and it will be directly checked out to that person, which I don't want to import thousands of assets and check out straight away. All right. But depends on your use. If you would like to do that and then you might add full name, email and username as well. OK, so if you look at my CSV file, which I'm going to use. Um, it does not have these um, columns. So I don't want to check out any of these assets straight away. I want to check out these assets, you know, as we go. Um, and that's all basically in here. But you can um, read more about it in this um, documentation. So now we are going to look at how we can use web interface to import. So I have logged on to my Snipe IT and um, I'm going to use my sample file which is here and this sample file is available on my blog post so i will minimize this and to import on the left hand side we will click on import 
now we will select import file so click on that and then browse to your file so in my case i'm going to select sample-assets.csv and click on open and it it has been uploaded now so we are going to process this file so click on process to process this file so import type this is very important now you can see that some of the fields uh, they're not matching and let's see what happens when i change import type to assets so i will change to assets now you can see that everything is matching so make sure every single field matches if it doesn't match it means there is a problem so when you're happy with it and everything is matching which is good and uh, now we are going to click on import um, here you have two options update existing values so if you want to update anything which is existing you can tick that box however i do not have anything available at the moment um, but we can have a look at it as well so what i'm importing is this and later on we will have a look if we want to change something and how it will actually come into action so send welcome email for new users there is no new user we are generating so i'm going to untick this and scroll down and click on import give it some time it will redirect and you will see that your file has been imported and now i have three assets here which are ready to deploy and one is pending and if i click on all archived you will see one asset is here which has status archived okay now if you would like to update assets from csv file so i'll go back to all ready to deploy and let's make a change in maybe spare 01 okay so the serial number is 12331 um, we're not going to change the serial number just in case so let's just change it to something i'm going to change it to 500 okay and then i'm going to save this file minimize this let's go back to import and select import file and sample assets.csv open that very first process and assets update existing values tick that box and click on import okay so it's all done now you can see that spare 01 the serial number is changed to 500 okay so this is how you import assets through web interface and now we are going to look at if you have a really big file and you want to use command line to do that okay so what we will do is uh, i will log on to snipe it server and then we will have a look at that okay so i have logged on to snipe it server and i am going to browse to snipe it root directory okay in this pc local disk c uh, inet pub and then uh, www root in here we have snipe it so i will select that and then click on file open with windows powershell and administrator okay so once you do that there's a command line that we are going to use and the command line is php artisan snipe it import so i'll copy that and i will paste it here and then we are going to provide path of the file so where the file is so in this case file is on the desktop okay so I will just browse to the path c colon backward slash users administrators desktop and file name which is sample dash assets dot csv i'm going to use the same file but you will see one difference okay um, and once you provide the file path and the second thing we are going to provide is item type which is very important okay dash dash item dash type so what are we importing we are importing assets so i'll extend this a bit so item dash dash item dash type a double -S, s e t asset space dash dash update so update is if you want to update uh, any existing values however we don't have to use that because we are not updating any existing value 
and you can use dash dash verbose so it will actually print out any information um, this is the same file which i have used to import through web interface so what we will do we'll go back to the web interface and we will delete all these assets okay um, and then we will import through command line so i'm going to delete all these three and other one from archive as well all archived is one here and i will delete this one as well so once you do that um, now we do not have any assets available you can see that it says zero total assets okay so i am using again i would like to mention i'm using exact similar file i want to show you one difference um, when we use exact similar file so i will go back to the server and we can run this command now okay so let's just run it okay so at the bottom you can see that all items imported successfully all right so now we'll go back to web interface and i will refresh that and you can see that now it shows total assets four so um, let's go back to assets all ready to deploy and you will find out serial number is missing now we have assets available here uh, so these are all ready to deploy all pending one would be pending and all archived one is here and all these assets they have serial number missing why um, there's a bug and if we change our serial number field uh, let's go back to the server and from here just double click on that so now we have opened it in notepad you can see that we are using serial space number okay so what we are going to do is we are going to delete number so now we are using just serial so there is no number in it so let's just save the file so we are going to run the same command again but now we are going to use update so we will do dash dash update okay so it will update the existing values let's run that so all items imported successfully at the bottom we have seen this message and now we'll go back to web interface in here let's refresh that and let's see if there's any difference so refresh that so now you can see that serial number field appeared again okay so there's a small difference when you use your csv file in web interface for importing assets and when you use in command line and one more time i would like to mention that there is a difference when we run this command with update so if we use update it will update the existing values and import new assets as well if you add any however when you use command line without update it would not update any existing assets okay however it will add anything if you add anything in your csv file thanks for watching this video if you have any relevant questions uh, regarding snipe it or importing assets in snipe it leave in the comments below i'm more than happy to help and uh, if you feel like this video is informative make sure you give it a thumbs up and uh, also show your support by subscribing to my channel and uh, press on the bell icon as well to get all the latest updates uh, whenever i will post on my channel and i will see you in the next video